Hey, I'll see you in Rutherford, New Jersey, Minneapolis, Minnesota, Ontario, California, Davenport, Iowa, Las Vegas, Chicago, and Grand Rapids, Michigan. Go to JimmyDoor.com for a link for tickets. So they had the big uh, debate with Chris Cuomo and Dave Smith, and Chris Cuomo is a uh, is a liar. <laughs> He's just a sociopathic liar. Today's the day of sociopathic liars on today's show, and Chris Cuomo is next up. Uh here he pretends that he didn't shame people who took ivermectin. You ready for this? Uh, there was so much talk that they don't want you to take ivermectin. Ivermectin is the way to go. Take it. Joe Rogan got better from ivermectin. And by the way, I don't like what people did to Joe Rogan about uh, ivermectin. Okay. I don't like you the, did it. No, no. No. <laughs> okay, yes, you did. Find the clips. Dude, find the clips. Find the clips, he says. Find the clips. Guess what? They're going to find Shane the clips. Joe Rogan. Find the you clips. said he's taking horse dewormer. So, you and Don Lemon were chuckling at each so, other about it. No. I'll go find First the clips. First of all, you just saw the clips. I'm this. not chuckling. I'm listening to Don. But no, no, no. The clip the I'm talking about wasn't on there. And here's, it's absolutely look, there. We oh, oh, here. Do we have it? Hold on. Let's play the clip. <laughs> Injecting drugs for animals and horse. And people telling them to. Oh, my God. What person? You know, you talk about like, you know, cancel culture and who to shame. Ivermectin, a dewormer, really? They are shaming themselves. That's no, what it is. Shaming. They're shaming themselves. No, so you're shaming. taking a dewormer right now. This is Chris, you dewormer. can't apologize for that. This, you weren't being clear that it was this, right. and you know that, dude. You're being so dishonest right now. I'm, man. I'm not you being dishonest. You were talking about ivermectin. I'm not being and dishonest. You're not oh talking God. about. I'm not being dishonest. This guy is a, a know nothing of him. It can't even fake. Having a reasoned demeanor. It's unbelievable. He doesn't want to admit that he was doing what he, he just showed him. This what, version of ivermectin. Come on. I was so I'll show you a longer version of that. Ready? Making people so resistant to reason and relying on lies that they would rather try poison than a real cure. The FDA just literally had to remind some Americans, you're not a horse. You are not a cow. Why? Because some. Why? The FDA had to remind some Americans that they're not a cow or a horse. First of all, why wouldn't they remind the doctors? Because you have to get a prescription. Why would they say that to people? Also, now get back into your enclosure and put you on your blinders. Then get ready for more mandatory experimental injections. You know, like a human being instead of a horse. Hey. That's what the FDA should have said to doctors. Yeah, why didn't they say that to my veterinarian? Yeah. <laughs> you can afford a doctor? You must be rich. I go to you're, a vet. You're not a horse or a cow, Kurt, but Cuomo is a lying pig. <laughs> oh. Old McDonald had a pharma. E-I-E-I, <laughs> 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 uh... <E> <laughs> no. <laughs> How about that? <laughs> uh... Find that so, and let's let's play play. Or more. taking a drug that's given to livestock as an anti-parasitic to treat or prevent COVID, it doesn't work. At least two people have been hospitalized in Mississippi after taking ivermectin. It is a dewormer. It's not a COVID cure. Please <clears throat> don't take it. The state's health department put out a warning saying animal drugs are highly concentrated for large animals and can be highly toxic in humans. And they should have said, and I don't know why they didn't. And this drug is not for COVID. I wonder if politics played into even that. The state's poison control center has been receiving an increasing number of calls in relation this to this. Why? Because somewhere on the righty fringe, they said this will do it. Forget about the vaccine. Look, People are literally insisting on making themselves sick. It is like a bad movie that we're all trapped in. Yes, this country is divided. Those who tell you otherwise, I don't get it. He's but sick now. No. He's, I know. But define the division. Now he's taking it's ivermectin. It's not left, right? Come on. Who defines themselves as that anymore? Those are just ideological right. extremes. You do, Chris. For the political class. You just said it. GOP You're or the Democrats. political class. Who calls themselves that anymore? Those are just teams in a bad game. This country is about the vaccinated and those who choose to put them at risk. Bravo. And here's the good news. Bravo. The vaccinated are this country. They are over 50 percent of every place and face. They've all done the right thing. So how long 
must the majority wait for the stubborn? How long must kids not get educated because a stubborn few won't learn the lesson about masks? Refusing to protect their kids and your kids, especially when they know that kids under 12 can't even get vaccinated. So they need adults. They are dependent on adults to step up. How long must all lives be stilted at home and work waiting on people who insist on making themselves and others sick? All over a virus that was never a threat to children, never a threat they can't to get people. Die from, oh the av- the average age of death from COVID, 82. It's just like just like just like Bill Gates said, oh, well, you know, it had a low fatality rate and it affected most of the elderly, kind of like the flu, but a little different. Well, and this is what he's doing over the, something that's Bill Gates says only affects the elderly. And it's kind of like the flu and it has a low fatality rate. What what's the actual fatality rate? I'm going to say it's less than one percent. Uh, check me on that. But for couple of years they kept saying it was three percent but you couldn't find out what the real case fortality rate was on covid it's way way lower than people thought and i i'm ashamed i was ever afraid of it i got a question who we should be talking whoever is writing the prompts for chris chroma to to read yes he's not writing that that whole dialogue no no right that or monologue that's written for him so who wrote that because his whole thing is hey man i'm just working here yeah yeah he's just a robot you you it's like ron uh ron burgundy from anchorman that's a true story that's how they are you just put the thing in the prompter and they say it and now now he's going to compare people who don't take the vaccine to january 6 protesters watch i think oh no that's it so so I, I'm gonna, I want to just show you this one more time. You don't there think was so oh. much talk that they don't want you to take ivermectin. Ivermectin is the way to go. Take it. Joe Rogan got better from ivermectin. And by the way, I don't like what people did to Joe Rogan about ivermectin. Uh-huh. I don't you like did it. it. No, no. no. <laughs> okay, yes, good. you did. Find the clips. But, dude, find the clips. You shamed Joe Rogan. Find the you clips. You said he's taking horse dewormer. So, you and Don Lemon were chuckling at each so, other about it. No. I'll go find First the First of all, clips. you just saw the clips. I watched I'm it. not chuckling. I'm listening to Don. But no, no, no. <laughs> you're not talking about That's we were, oh, oh, here, do we have it? Here Hold it on. is. Let's Listen play the Don. Injecting drugs for animals and horse. And people telling them to. Oh, my God. What person? You know, you talk about, like, you know, cancel culture and who to shame. Ivermectin? A dewormer? Really? They are shaming this themselves. Is That's what it is. Shaming. They're shaming themselves. Oh, so you're shaming. taking a dewormer right now. This is Chris, you can't warmer. apologize for that. This you weren't being clear that it was this, right. and you know that, dude. You're being so dishonest right now. I'm, man. I'm not. So when you are this disingenuous about what you said just a few weeks ago, I think it's going to be called the new medical condition. So you're you're going to be called comatose. <laughs> <laughs> Which is when you're too stupid to know what a piece of garbage you come off as. That's called Cuomatose. And that's what Chris Cuomo is. Okay, you know the basement that he was in for a month? Yeah, and he lied about that. Okay, you have to understand. That basement is inside of Chris Cuomo's mind. That's right. And whenever he is confronted with reality, he goes to the Cuomo place. (laughs) He retreats into the Cuomo place. That's it. And then he goes, he didn't say it. That other guy said it. That other guy didn't. The guy who drives said it. I I didn't say it. I think it's bad. Uh, here we go. Here's here's another uh, Grabian put this together. Apology? Of course not. Of course not. This was never as simple as vaccine good, vaccine bad. Oh. We have data to support the fact that there are thousands. Even though he just said it uh, comes down to vaccinated, unvaccinated. So vaccinated good and the unvaccinated bad. He just said that. I showed you the video. It never was that. He never shamed Joe Rogan. He never shamed ivermectin. This is amazing. Of people who have had adverse effects that are not getting attention. Be nice to the unvaccinated. Don't don't shame them. Let them learn on, enough. This country is about the vaccinated and those who choose to put them at risk. The vaccinated are this country. They've all done the right thing. So how long must the majority wait for the stubborn, waiting on people who insist on making themselves and others sick? And there is no valor in being unvaccinated. Not getting vaccinated is what is unfair. This is on you. That it's good that you're not taking it to thwart the government trying to have a hand in your life. How much more are the vaccinated going to take from the vacuous as if it were some misplaced righteous cause? It's freedom, it's freedom not to take the vaccine because it's not about reason. It's about animus. 
It's about resentment. I mean, so honestly, you sound like an idiot, so there's not much to say. But, Tony, good luck with it. Ah, See you. And so do you. Calling people yeah. idiots. I may, only for having you on the show. That was my only mistake. Look, it's just stupid. I'm pro-freedom. I hate that he's Italian-American, by the way, because it plays into his stereotype. This suggestion that somehow there is a strength in the resistance to the science, to the mandate, stupid, ethnic, stereotype, masculine, moronic thing to be. Because, look, I don't think it's a coincidence that some of those who are soft-selling the vaccine are also among those ignoring January 6th or That's trying it. to minimize it. Have That's decided it. to be free! to get sick because the idea that it's just about choice and volition this isn't making you get a tattoo if the freedom's so important i'm free to be stupid byron donald's not <laughs> going to take it because he doesn't care what biden wants but if there are americans like myself who choose not to please don't berate me for doing that it is a personal choice i have made it's a, but see, my own health care no, i am allowed to it, do that here's I'm the thing to do. byron do you have the right of course nobody's debating that except you guys as a false choice what i'm ah. saying is is it right? That is being dumb as a proxy for being bold. Because you're seeing some kind of righteousness and a choice to do something that doesn't make a whole lot of sense. And why shouldn't I yeah. get opportunities as vaccinated that you don't get as unvaccinated? Oh, okay. You don't want to get vaccinated. It's not because you know more about science. Just because you work in the hospital doesn't mean you're not susceptible to mis or disinformation or being vaccine hesitant. Amazing how selfish we have been in this situation when you think about it. And the selfishness, just in the simple statement of, yeah, I, I'm not getting it because, you know, deep denial and selfishness. Ha. It is shameful. Talk about and denial. to be clear, by we, I mean you who are not protected for yourself and loved ones yet. You guys are the issue. Not the majority of the country that has already taken upon this uh, task and now is being held hostage. There is going to be a consequence for irrational resistance. You being unprotected hurts my kids, hurts my mother. You are having your freedom stepped on because of those who believe freedom is about putting other people at risk. This is a, a tyranny of the unvaccinated. You have to have a vaccine passport. <laughs> How are we going to know who got the booster and who didn't? The booster. We're going to have to have a way to track it. Ivermectin, a dewormer, really? Yeah. They need to be called out in shame. People so resistant to reason and relying on lies that they would rather try poison. You're not a horse. You are not a cow. Taking a drug that's given to livestock as an anti-parasitic, it doesn't work. Please don't take it. I am taking a, um, what do they call it? Like a, a regular dose, you know, whatever. They, they're trying to build up of ivermectin. The entire <laughs> clinical community knew that ivermectin couldn't hurt you. So that was back when everyone was instructed to be a bully back then yeah. and so now that everything that he's peddled has fallen apart he's now trying to come up with new ways to no, save that's face his zeta, that's his zeta alter programming but wait wait, wait. Wh wh who is right because that's probably somebody from pfizer or moderna just like they writing write the a bills writing a script for there's Chris somebody Cuomo. yeah, there, yeah. That's, he's just a guy reading ad copy like everyone else but who wrote that for him because the the way he's does it, he genuinely doesn't feel like he said those things because it wasn't his words he's reading what he's told to read like how an actor's like hey yeah. i'm just an actor i think he was free balling some of it you could yeah. <laughs> i think i think he was he free balling some free, of it you could see him free balling a little bit yeah. like but the thing of like you could hear the the slogans of like oh, yeah, it they, is now a nation of the unvaccinated they, yes there are no parties only that that sounds crazier what he's saying than that uh Ukrainian trans spokesperson yeah. who was saying the wolves and the dogs shall come for the Russian. Like it sounds just like that. Same kind of writing. That person is now And so now that he got kicked off he's CNN as well. and he's trying to find his life online yeah. and play he has to now pretend he didn't be that guy he has to because he has to pretend he didn't aid in one of the biggest crimes against humanity in history that the online community knows about, right? And that's why and now so now he's fucked. If he was any more fucked he'd be doing porn in Chatsworth. I wish someone would ask him who wrote <laughs> in what? Chatsworth. You don't What's know that? where Chatsworth is? No. It's where they do the porn. Oh, what? That's what it's, uh, it's out in the valley. Come on, baby. Why would I know that? I'm not a degenerate. Uh, <laughs> I thought you had I, your I finger. I don't care about the workers. Is why I don't know. <laughs> I, I thought he had. I thought you had your finger on the pulse. But uh, so good. Good or on something. Dave. Uh, but the the idea. I knew that Chris Cuomo was never going to. I mean, he just sits there and lies right to your face. Oh, I didn't say that. He's just like Fauci. I said. 
that there was no scientific basis for it and it just came out of nowhere. Ha <laughs> ha. They all act like an actor on a soap opera that you hate because they're the bad guy. And they yeah. go, no, yes. that's just a role I play. Yes. Because it is a role that they play. That's right. And now he's trying to do his new role. Yes. And, you know, like, it, it's funny watching this. They, there's like this weird, I wish someone would ask him, because weird blank spot where they don't, like, he should be going, look, I worked on CNN <laughs> and I said the thing. And remember, I didn't like my job. Remember, he <laughs> said he didn't like what he did. Yeah. Do you notice how there's like three or four Chris's? Yes, that's right. So what is going on there? Someone needs to ask this because he 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 literally thinks he didn't do it. You watching him do that? Well, that's what sociopaths do. I knew a kid when I was little, and uh, you know you're always getting in trouble as a kid. We grew up Catholic. You're always in trouble for something. And I remember him telling me, he goes, you know, Jimmy, I can lie sometimes where I'm convinced of what the lie is I'm telling. No, I, that's I had a, a guy, a kid told me, and that's what that is. Okay, that's, that's a what thing, a sociopath is. But that's, I'm just saying, that's what our intelligence agencies, what that kid said to you, they have studied this for the entire Cold War. How do we make someone lie where they, they believe, believe the what lie. they're saying? And that's Chris Cuomo. How do we Cuomo. make someone kill someone where right. they honestly think they didn't kill someone? You guys were talking to Neil Oliver about about the passing the responsibility. Yeah. That's why they designed that program. That's why we're all supposed to be compartmentalized. That's why we're not supposed to be talking about this anymore. Yeah, that that's right. That time is over. That time is over. Now, remember to forget zzz, trauma. The war's coming. Remember to forget zzz, I uh, gender. Zzz, <laughs> that's the, the MK Ultra shit. They did it to everyone. They started with some people. Those are the prototypes. And now when you're wondering why your friend Kevin Kevy Flynn can't remember things, <laughs> that's why. He's probably a dipshit Catholic, right? That helps if you start out as a dumb shit Catholic, by the way. <laughs> One of the best pro Mormon, all, second only to Mormon. That's some great programming. Yeah. And the government goes to the oh, Scientology. That's some fantastic programming. And the government went to all them groups. Oh, cartels. They do some great work there. We work with all of that. Well, That's I'm right. saying we. I didn't do shit. Yeah. But your government did that. So everybody needs to wake up. We could be mad at Chris Cuomo, but I would really like to ask him, Chris, why is it that you think that's a different Chris? Because I'll bet the answer, <laughs> and I'm, dude, I'm saying it's like funny, but I, I, I'm, I'm serious too. Like the answer is probably really scary. And it probably is. I is, just think, I think the answer is more simple why? with guys like him. Because those are the types of people he's who. He's a political family. He, but not only that, but, you know, he's a sociopath. And, and, and literally, I'm not making that, I'm not throwing that around lightly. Right. Why? I'm like, he's willing, yeah. he's just a liar. And you saw him make, he made up his own lie that he stayed in his basement for a, a month to get over. And he said, and he didn't. Everybody knows he was out. I'm sure they told him to do that. And I'm sure he was told to do that by his job. I don't think so. Well, I'm telling you, I don't think nobody so. in the media can think, be on the media doing that I think unless that, they get the program. I mean, just like Chomsky said, uh, I'm sure you believe everything you're saying because if you believe something else, you wouldn't have this job. And now Chomsky's fallen. And Ch of course Chomsky And fell. now Chomsky's one of them. Get it? <laughs> yeah. No, it gets well, to he everyone. Was, he was at MIT his whole career. Yeah. No, this is- The home of the CIA. Listen, it, it ain't he, a coincidence. He did hang out with Jeffrey Epstein. McGregor played that thing. That's a the thing Colonel McGregor talked about that we played. Yeah. Just you know, that's a a little teeny bit that poked out in that. This thing goes real far, and it's the entire media. Oh, is is what's her name? Is psyop? Who's that stupid singer? That everybody goes back and forth. Taylor Swift. Yeah, morons. Your entire culture has been a psyop. Their entire yeah. they design. It's very tightly controlled. Only two. Well, you can't control everything. No, I know. Trump won and Brexit happened. Yeah. And look at how they reacted. Yeah. As if they had been controlling everything at, up until that up, point. That's right. So everybody can, oh, it's not that. No, it's that bad. It's that bad. It's that bad. Hey, have you heard all about this new superfood that seems almost too good to be true? It's got thousands upon thousands of five-star reviews and literally life-changing testimonies from its users. It's called Arma Colostrum. Have you heard of this stuff? I, I looked it up. Turns out it actually is a superfood. Colostrum is the first nutrition we receive in life, and it's an exclusive source of all the essential nutrients we need in order to thrive. Armra Colostrum is a proprietary concentrate of bovine colostrum that harnesses over 400 functional nutrients to strengthen your immune barriers against harmful particles from the environment that can trigger inflammation and make you sick. If you don't know what armor colostrum is, go ahead and look it up. I did. 
It's been, it has been known to strengthen immunity, ignite metabolism, fortify gut health, promote hair growth and skin radiance, and power fitness performance and recovery. Armor's premium grass-fed bovine colostrum concentrate strengthens all four layers of your gut wall, where 80% of your immune cells are housed, and activates cellular health for your resiliency and recovery. We've worked out a special offer for my audience. Receive 15% off your first order. How do you do that? You go to tryarmra.com slash Jimmy and enter Jimmy to get 15% off your first order. That's T-R-Y-A-R-M-R-A dot com slash Jimmy. You come see me on tour in Rutherford, New Jersey, Minneapolis, Minnesota, Ontario, California, Las Vegas, Davenport, Iowa, Chicago, Illinois. We're doing a live panel video show, special surprise guests on that show, and Grand Rapids, Michigan. Go to jimmydoor.com for a link for tickets, and make sure you go to Jimmy Door because they don't want to buy it from a second reseller. (laughs) 